Good morning and welcome to this week's Your Soul Matters broadcast. I'm your host, Tatiana. It is our hope that this broadcast and the message you're about to hear will inspire you, encourage you, and convince you that your soul truly does matter. It matters to God, it matters to us here, and it matters, and we hope that it matters to you. Let's welcome our speaker this morning, Evangelist Larissa Jones. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, Praise the Lord again, Praise everybody. The Lord. Our scripture text this morning is going to come from the book of Acts. We're going to go to Acts chapter number 4, 18 through 20. Again, that's Acts chapter number 4, 18 through 20. And it reads as such. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered and said unto them, whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than unto God judge ye. For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. Developmental studies indicate that a child gains the ability to mirror the actions of others around the age of eight months. And by the age of two, they have a strong, very strong level of independence, right? And we are all very familiar with that. We often call it what? The terrible twos, right? And so they learn to repeat, they learn to mimic, everything that you do and yes, say and it yes. can sometimes be a little bit nerve-wracking right <laughs> <laughs> but being the example for them requires long-term thinking yeah. Yeah. what do i want this child to yeah. see and what do i want this child to retain yeah. in the long run right yeah. parents will not always be there as they grow up yeah. caretakers will not be there teachers will give them the information that they need and then teachers will go on their way but now the adult child has to make decisions mm -hmm. on their own mm -hmm. when my son was little i happened to catch um, a picture a perfect picture of him and my husband standing in the room. They were both at the same time, side by side to each other, buttoning down their white dress shirts as we prepared to go to church. And so it was just the cutest little picture. And as I began to think about that, that is how children learn what to do. They That's watch right. you, right? right. And right. so they learn what to do. And we're all familiar with the scripture that says, train up a child in the way that he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. And just, I want to talk about a, uh, a personal praise. A personal praise this morning. Jesus here, he's ascended into heaven. And Peter and John, his trusted disciples, they find out in a very weird, real way, very quickly, <laughs> that training is over, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> training, it only lasts for so long. Yeah, right? And so you have to get what you need while you're in yeah, training, right. while you can get it, right? Yeah. Because guess what? You cannot stay in school right. all of your life, right? Right. right? And I know a lot of us, we want to hide in right. up under uh, the qualms of education, sure. right? But at some point, you got to come on out yeah. in the real come world, right? Yeah. <laughs> so Peter and John, they had to make sure that they had a personal praise, right? Yeah a praise that works in the midst of adversity. Yeah, right. So here Peter and John, they have been summoned to a meeting. This is not a PTA meeting. No. This is not a Zoom meeting yeah. that is about nothing. This is a very real yeah. meeting. It's a meeting of officials, a meeting of dignitaries who have claimed that they have authority and that their authority is the final authority. Yes. But anybody know yeah. that God has yeah. the yeah. final say, yeah. right? Yeah. And so you don't have to worry about people telling you that they got yeah. the authority. God has the final say. And here, so they are familiar, uh, Peter and John, they know what the possible implications 
implications of this yeah. meeting might be. For they had not long ago watched yeah. Jesus himself go to a meeting very similar to this. Yes. And they realized that after that meeting, what happened? Here Jesus was, he was crucified yeah. for a crime that he yeah. did not That's commit. Right. But guess what? Although they saw that, they also saw that, guess what? He was resurrected yeah. right in three days. Amen. So here they've seen him under their training. They had seen him raise the dead. They had seen him heal the sick. And to be honest, they had seen him change a lot of lives, yeah. right? But here Jesus had left a plan for them in his absence. So here he is, he's ascending up, but he's left a plan for them before he goes. And he said, look, I'm going to send you a package, yeah. right? Yeah. The package, don't worry about it. You don't have to wait on Federal Express, <laughs> UPS, <laughs> Amazon. You don't have to worry about them because I'm going to make a direct deposit yes. into yeah. you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We like those kind of packages. They just come right on to me. Right? I don't have to worry about right. nobody taking yeah. it. Right? Right. Nobody stealing it off the porch. Amen? Amen. So here he says, once you get this direct deposit, then you are going to be able to do the same miracles yes. that I do, yes. right? And you are going to have to witness of me. God is still calling us in this day right. to be That's a right. witness, right? Yes. Uh, Peter and John, they are here. They're questioned about the life they are living. Mm -hmm. They've healed a man, and this is why they have been called into question. And they've done it in the name of Jesus. And they knew what the name of Jesus could do. Uh, and now they are threatened for no longer being able to function under the way that yeah. they were taught. Yeah. This is what they were taught to do, yeah. right? This is what they were trained to do. And now, here it is, the world is telling them that they cannot Come do on, it, right? Right. So yes, there are a few lessons that we learn in this scripture. The first thing that we learn is you got to be equipped with the right yeah, answer. Yeah, that's good. They knew that they were under surveillance, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. The reality is that we are all under surveillance yeah, from the enemy. That's right. the, it is the enemy's job to threaten you. Yeah. And everybody wants to do their job well. Yeah. The enemy is working overtime to yeah. do his job yeah. well, right? And he's not in the business of handing out any mercy. Yeah. So if you're looking for mercy from yeah. him, you're going to have to go to Jesus and find mercy because he is not giving it, okay? He's looking for you to conform. Mm -hmm. so one of the things that surveillance does is that it increases conformity. One, it also makes you paranoid, yeah, right? Yeah. Because you gotta make sure that you are doing the right, right yeah, thing, right, right? right? But it increases conformity, and so he wants you to conform to what he is doing That's and right. not That's what right. God has told you to do, right? He's looking for you to forget your mission yeah. and your goals. Yeah. He's expecting you to be paralyzed yeah. under the rapid fire that he is bringing at you. And if you will think about it now, he is pushing such rapid fire that you don't have time to recover, yeah. Yeah. Right? right? And right. he's right. planning on the fact that you don't have time to recover. That's where he's yeah. planning to get That's you, right? right. The right. word says that all that will live godly in Christ Jesus yeah. will suffer persecution. Yeah. So yeah. this is not new. Peter and John suffered persecution because they tried to live for Christ. Yes. And yes. if you try to live for Christ, you, you will suffer as well. Yes. Peter and Paul had already been detained in jail mm -hmm. and then they were let go. The enemy is going to keep on interrogating you. Oh, yes. He's going to keep oh, on yes. threatening you. Yes. But you can rest assured that he's only able to hold you for so long. Come on, John. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. So while he has the right to threaten you, yeah. you got some rights on yes, you. Yes, and I, I just want to tell you yeah. about your rights. <laughs> You got the right to submit to God yes. and resist the devil. Yes. You got the right to sanctify. 
sanctify yourself right. unto the Lord That's in right. your heart so that you will always have a ready answer and an yes. accurate answer. Yes. Because it's one thing to have an answer, but you got to have an accurate yes. answer. Yes. All right? yes. You have the right to make the enemy back up on you. Yes. You got a lot of rights, and sometimes we got to get in the yes. Yes. The rights that we have using yes. those rights. Yes. The second lesson in this scripture reminds us that you got to remember God ain't sleep. Yes. He right. never sleeps, he never nor does he slumber. Right. He wa he's watching who is on the sidelines yeah. and who is in the field. Yeah. Peter yeah. and John, they had already made their decision yeah. about the place that God held yeah. in their life. So they put it back on them, the one who's called the yeah. meeting. Uh -huh. And he said, look, uh, I'm going to let you know that you too got to work out your own soul so salvation, yes. right? Yes. So while you're trying to tell me what to do, you got to work it out too. So they told them to form your own opinions and do what you want. Because guess what? We know that the eyes of the Lord are open and he is yeah. watching yeah. what we are doing. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Um, they knew that if they did not be, become so aware of Christ that they would draw back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they didn't want to draw That's back. That's right. That's right. We don't want to That's draw right. back in That's this right. time. And the enemy is working overtime to make us draw back. Right. Right. Lastly, you you got to qualify your praise. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I praise him. Why? Yeah. Why do I praise him? I praise him because I've got a personal relationship yeah, with right, him. That's right, that's right. Both Peter and John, they had a personal relationship. Peter had been changed. Mm -hmm. John, he went so far to say what? That he was the disciple who yeah. Jesus loved. Now that's a reason yeah. to praise God right there, right? right? right. Now when you got that kind of mindset, I'm the yeah. one that Jesus loves, then you you can really yeah. praise yeah. God, right? Yeah. Because it's something about yeah. the love yeah. of God yeah. that yeah. makes a difference yeah. in your life. Yeah. But guess what? It wasn't just that Jesus loved them. It was the fact that they loved Jesus. And that's Come a different on, kind of relationship because there are a lot of people who believe that the Lord loves them, but they but not love them. Okay? Yeah. 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 So when love shows up, yeah. you'll do some things differently. Your yeah. actions yeah. will change, right? You will know, you will know them by what? By yeah. their love when love shows yeah. up. Yeah. They had faith in the name of Jesus. And faith works the will of God. Faith works God's will, not your will. That's right. Faith That's works right. some things out of you because you become dependent on him. Yeah. Faith takes a risk in his name. Yeah. And what happens when you remove the name of Jesus, when you disregard him, betray him? Suffering takes place in your life yeah. and it takes place in the lives yeah. all around you, right? Yeah. We all, we can see this in the world. We've taken the name of Jesus out of the schools, out of the workplaces, and guess what? Great yes. suffering has a value. Jeremiah yes. said it like this. He said, I tried not to say the name of Jesus. He said, but it's like fire. It's Shut up, up in my bones. My bones. Right. I am qualified by his name. Yes. And at the name of Jesus, something happens. Yes. You will not, you will not survive without Come on a now. personal Come on now. Yes. You can watch the praise of other people. But if you don't have a personal praise, you will not survive. If you don't get it right now, you will not get it when he comes. There is a bigger threat than what the enemy does. There's a bigger threat than what they say, yeah. right, about you. Right. There is a bigger threat here. And that bigger threat is being left behind. Yeah. Somebody is going to be left behind if you don't get it right. And so it behooves us to guess what? Make sure that our praise is personal. Peter and John, they already knew what the word was. The word says, let everything that have breath, praise the Lord. Because guess what? I don't want no rocks crying out for me. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 What a word we just heard from the evangelist.
Evangelists. If you are looking to learn more about God, come visit us. Information can be found at our website, hodchurch.com. If you are in need of prayer or someone to talk to, please call 1-800-741-SOUL or 1-800-741-7685. We look forward to seeing you next week for another inspired message and messenger. Until then, don't forget, your soul matters. <laughs>